What's up guys? This is the Riverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of My Empire Total War. Let's play as the Italian States. So to round off where we left off, uh, we have... Well, the Swedish have diluted their forces on the Western Front. So now we are pushing this force under Vito Spero that's been guarding Paris for a very long time now. He has launched forward to destroy the garrison at Brussels and hopefully the plan is that uh, this force that's currently in a re reinforcing stance will march forward and engage this fellow, maybe even drawing in these guys as reinforcements, and open the way towards Amsterdam. We are well on our way to destroying the Swedish pocket. So, without further ado, let's crack on and engage the Swedes. The force is depleted, very depleted, but so it should be uh, a fairly routine matter to dislodge them. But yes. The uh, Sweden has been responding to our attacks in Scandinavia and in Denmark, as well as on the Eastern Front, and have uh, pushed or well, pulled uh, forces east. Because you remember, there used to be a lot of men around this part of the world, a lot of uh, full armies, and apparently now are no longer. So this is one of our European pattern. Armies, two massive gun batteries, two units of quick climbing howitzers. Then let's split our forces up to surround the town. So we've got one brigade with some pike support. We also have the very elite, the 55th, which they must be elite because they're surrounded by the 140th and so on. Let's combine the others into a force to push on the left. These pikes might actually go through the town. Cavalry on each flank. General on the right this time. Ah, you thought I'd say centre. Artillery can't actually isn't actually engaging any targets. So let's push these men up to come and capture the town. Oh, I've only got the one pike unit. No wonder I I'll set the going. I'm sure I put one on the right as well. No, I've just it's just the one pike unit actually. Start to drop quick climb into the centre of the town. Looks like there we go. The first element to resist us is the Grenadier Guards. So let's push these men up. Oh, that's enemy quick line coming in. Get our pikes to charge into the 12th Regiment of Horse. Because the mad lads are on their way. don't have to be in square, they're going to hit our pikes like fools. Trigger this unit with guards into that house. The remainder of this flank can secure this gap. Storm our crossiers up to maybe intercept the cavalry. Run our pikemen up. Let's bring the Swiss grenadiers around to fire into the rear of that infantry unit. Let's push these two units around the rear. There we go. Intercept the cavalry. Looks like this late regiment of mine is probably going to have to get well, might have to get multiple units engaged here. There's a lot of enemy cavalry. So my 
my Swiss Grenadiers are taking up positions in the farmhouse. Let's get my pikes to preemptively charge that regiment of horse. Dump these guys into square. Dump you guys into square, even though you're in a combat. Push these guys up. Run my cavalry around to the rear. There we go, the square's holding off the heavy cavalry. Gone ground is, you're able to engage. pushing our troops are pushing up as are theirs push our cavalry around push our infantry around you guys get back in square formation you guys should you should be enough to see off those heavy cavalry wheel my infantry around okay let's pick new house targets drop artillery in the town you guys get out of square Actually, you know you stay in square get my general to go after the general bodyguard these men engage the swiss infantry to our front let's storm the town Going to charge that unit. Let's also switch our howitzers to round shot because now we're getting to the point where we might actually do some damage. My cavalry to set the provincial cav. My infantry can actually start to intercept the howitzers. I am aware I've dropped round shot on them. So I don't really have any other optimal targets. So be careful of these spikes. Always drop it to square. Pivot these guys around like this, actually. There we go. The charge is on. Get through their lines. Hit the rear areas stop all our artillery because there's some hell of a lot of firepower being dropped in the centre of the town. Swiss Grenadiers are hitting the light infantry, that should, that'll, that'll definitely be enough. Swedish hunters have been killed. Actually, you can, my infantry can deal with those guys. Let's just get my heavy cavalry around the spikes as best we can. Light cavalry and set general bodyguard. Same with my heavy cavalry. All oh, this infantry's coming in. These men have been more than enough to deal with that line infantry unit. So these Swiss grenadiers, they, they can know if they managed to be killed so much they didn't actually, they weren't able to form a square. See if the Crassier Guards storm on into the 17th Regiment. Yeah, they're, they're shattered from one volley from the Grand Asian Square. And there we go. The entrenched artillery based over here fell with remarkable speed. Then again we did deploy a bucket load of troops to kill them. Awesome. So that is Brussels secured. So now we can replenish the city, or we can rebuild that government building. Let's replenish our men.
I'll push you up into Jor um, Jorgen Bellman. That will not draw in the reinforcements, but I'll still fight it. Because that give us... Well, it'll, it'll knock them back. And then they can lay siege to Amsterdam. These guys are going to be looking towards Cologne. We do have another force building up to the south to get ready to respond to these guys. They're going to do some raiding uh, down in Paris, but they're not actually going to be a... And they're not going to really be a problem, unless they go down to northern Italy. So maybe it might be best if I deploy my <laughs> troops near Paris now. Right. It's another... Get another Paris pattern. Army. A bucket load of artillery, a bucket load of infantry, and a bucket load of good cavalry. A fairly normal formation because we are going to be advancing. Deploy my cover on the right in to charge in quickly because I do want to potentially intercept those cuirassiers. Can you drop in the square? My main concern is then they might just rush straight for my artillery. So if I just do this. Pushing, my regiment of horse can can hit the cuirassier. Let's probably charge my infantry in. It's also going to be a big infantry fight. You two drop into square. And you. I haven't even targeted my howitzers yet, and they're all they're only firing round shot. New targets. Cavalry's been repulsed. Fusiliers have managed to deploy stakes. Chase down the enemy cuirassier. This infantry block, though, can advance. These men stay in square. My cavalry, a good chunk of my cavalry can actually go and do the assaulting around the rear mission. So there, these cavalry, they're not for they're not for this world for very long. Keep dropping in. Okay, no, you guys need to spread out. It's gonna be a bit dodgy, because you're gonna be in the way of the cuirassiers. Oh, the militia's going to make it within, within uh, interfering range. You hit horse artillery crew. My heavy horse artillery targets something a bit more battlefieldy. Regiment of horse, you guys go hit that horse artillery on the flank. You aren't doing a good job against their general. I mean, they charge my marines with their militia, so I don't, well, I don't think of anything. I don't think there's anything to fear there. Although I still might pull this infantry out of that combat. The general's been killed. These guys can get out of square and push up. You guys can more aggressively turn the flank. get my house of cavalry over to try and hit those sharpshooters I suppose. We're not I'm not bothered about chasing down their cavalry, I'm, I'm content with damaged cavalry. Probably stop my artillery from shooting full stop. 
like these guys I'm not bothered about. What I'm interested in is... Yeah, weak cavalry isn't a problem, because then infantry is already quite, res quite um, resistant to cavalry, with its square formation and bayonets and so on. But... against, uh, well, uh, we can, well, I'm tr trying to formulate my thoughts here, use your words. Uh, weak infantry seems to end up being deployed to go and raid, whereas weak cavalry usually seems to stay as part of the troop mix. I'm going to continue. To be honest, you can probably get ready to go hit the light infantry guards. I mean, they're going to be shot at, so it's turn far it will off there. Because they're all running... Well, you'll be okay, as far as the guards are concerned. They, those militia, so they've split up. So let's deploy the bulk of our cavalry to actually hit the elite infantry. Fusiliers and the guards rather than the militia. Although, you do wonder is there a tactical argument that you actually don't want to kill them, you want to leave them slightly alive so that they can't recruit them? They have to actually replenish them um, near the front lines? Well, then again, I suppose you'd still have them be recruited, you'd still rather have them. Yeah, they've split out pretty well. You'd still probably have them recruit, be recruited further away from the lines rather than being reinforced near them. But still, that army was pretty conclusively destroyed. For only loss of 300 men. Okay, you guys are going to march over towards Amsterdam. You can't actually get in there. This guy can't do anything useful. I mean, yeah, look, there's the surging troops up here. You're replenishing. You could cross over to Copenhagen. We've got some troops in the city. We're destroying the Mon University, which should help significantly. We've got troops charging over from the north, but I'm okay with letting them charge if that's all they're going to do. Breakaway force here. So can we? Create a small army here just to auto resolve this because we've probably already fought them. Yeah, we have La Vittoria in Nostra. Just to push them out of the out of the theater So you guys can slowly start to accumulate troops to hold off or to be ready for an eventual Russian betrayal. Could just go capture Dresden now. It's probably a good idea. I mean, you could... Well, actually you... could probably deploy to try and fight some of these scallywags. Although, let's get you over to this... game into the artillery fort so I can then attack... We've got lots of cavalry, but we've got a swarm of infantry that we can bring to the fight. And that's probably going to be enough. Especially, well, definitely for the first army, because it's so depleted. But then the follow-up force, they're stronger, but a unit of cavalry without proper infantry or artillery support just doesn't have a good time against, against uh, infantry. So as usual, deploy wide so I can envelop and surround them. Some of the reinforcements are coming in from over here somewhere. So let's just storm up. Yeah, weak artillery. 
Weak cavalry, weak infantry. Most of their infantry is hunkered back here and behind cover. Some of it not even behind cover. Then these cavalrymen are going to be gunning it into the fight. That's what we're up to now. These are these are you know, so high now they are just called regiment of foot. They managed to upset themselves because the artillery killed some of their gun crews. Yeah, we're too close for quickline and buster. Cavalry wants to charge in. Fire a second rank because they're aiming at someone else, but the regiment of horse will get hit because of it. You guys all dump into square formation, to be honest. These guys can probably march up towards where the reinforcements are going to come in. And my men firing by rank here tear the innards out of the formation there. You keep going back into square regardless. There we go. See if you, I can decoy some of this cavalry to go straight in against my infantry. Dump them all into square. Then fire it well off for this guy because he's going to shoot through that square to get them. New men. Charge those facades. Actually, get into there and dump square there. Okay, you guys run over here. There we go, just keep going into squares. The grit the squares are getting smaller from a combination of friendly fire and other things. But General coming over. There we go, let's reinforce our foothold over there. General's bodyguard might get inset might get engaged by our squares. Those men, they're not actually going to do very well, just as themselves. Let's bring more mass over. I think I've heard their general coming in to charge. Come on, deploy that angle, not there. to fight their general, although if these guys get can catch up to them, then I'll just use this regiment to hit them. Yeah, you have a lot of artillery. Okay, no. You guys pull back away from that sector. 
you guys might actually Hail Mary through the middle. Actually, you guys have to charge in with those mortars. with everyone else are going to do some real damage. You guys hit the general bodyguard, you guys come in and try to get the mercenaries. Uh, to be honest, you guys, you three, charge the militia with overwhelming force, and you guys all run over here. Killed the enemy general. So our infantry is upset, but that is chiefly because we're probably being shot at by the artillery at point blank range. But now we've got our cavalry in. Mm. Just goes to show that cavalry is actually pretty useful. <laughs> Who would have thought it? You guys all hit the unit militia. still fighting up there. Oh, no, they, yeah, they finally routed. Good. So this... Uh, everyone charge this unit of foot line. So I think to bear in mind with Swedish... Swedish infantry is it's very capable in the melee. So we, we're going to lose a lot of men for doing this, but... Okay, get the general back out of there. Regroup my cavalry. I'm just going to speed up time. Regroup my cavalry for another charge in. Our infantry's hitting them on the flank. They're gonna they're going down. Good. <laughs> oh messy. Messy, messy, messy. But those dregs of troops have been knocked down from fourteen hundred to eight, uh, to only just less, just over two hundred. So objective complete, I suppose. Okay, let's take your heavy guns over to here. Uh, so you're recruiting seven units, so which means you need to lose two units of line. So let's just combine them into other units. There we go. So you're gonna; these two are gonna remain in position. But once these guys are replenished, they're going to move in and hit. These guys, As Alessio Langrangia, is going, to lay siege, is, is going to siege Cologne. Then when we've knocked out these guys, hit Cologne, these guys can move up and take this bridge. Uh, these guys may end up sitting on this bridge in case the Prussians try and make a go of it. Because that would be a, an almighty bridge battle and I'd likely just keep spamming out infantry <laughs> from Strasbourg to throw into the maelstrom. Replenish some of our buildings up here in Austria. You're moving up ready for the future fight against Bavaria. Uh, your church school here. You're replenishing. But I think we're probably going to take this army. They're going to call in a bunch of their reinf... No, they're going to call in a bunch of reinforcements. Oh yeah, they're going to come in from uh, Berlin. Okay, we're going to keep sieging them. Ideally, it would be better to, to attack from this side of the city, but there we are. My spy is unable to move. 
I mean, I know you've still got them here, but as long as they don't have ships, then these guys aren't a problem. Um, how goes Tunis? Pretty converted already. So this force down here at Venice. Ah. They're unhappy for university reasons. Let's build a bunch of militia. You guys march up to the south. And then, how are we doing on the tech front? Or dense? Yeah, that's being demolished. Technically, it'd be better, better to have another university demolished. Especially if Sevilla is just a college. It is upgrading. But right now, this is causing us lots of... Um, public order problems in Copenhagen. So I'm going to hit end turn. Yeah, that agent in Egypt in, yeah, in Egypt is just stuck. Not army, not agent, sorry. The army. They are just stuck. I can't move them to ships because we don't have permission to transport to uh, to cross Egyptian lands or Ottoman lands which does mean they can't manoeuvre to get onto ships so they're just stuck. Yeah, those Ottoman agents going to cause a bit of problems behind our lines, but that's why we tried to be so resolute in dropping schools everywhere. I think the army in Finland might push up to that fort near St. Petersburg. It's not an alarm for a part-timer, although that was actually pretty good, fairly close. Yeah, the Orthodox ministers are on the march. Okay, so let's see where they send their men. I would be surprised if they didn't reinforce Cologne and Amsterdam. But it looks like they are all lurching to the east. You're actually coming up north again. Okay, it, <clears throat> okay, so if those army <clears throat> pardon me. If those armies are falling back, then I'm pr I'm going to advance my stock my army near Stockholm north to be in a position to push them out. I mean, they can't cross over. Or maybe they can. Actually, that's not a very good navy. I mean, we do have all of these Russian armies around. We've got a proper garrison inside Stockholm, so I'm not concerned there. But if I just push my men up like this, Okay, and let's probably go to here and start to recruit some third-rate ships of the line because they're still capable, but they don't break the bank. So they have fallen back to a degree. I want to give them a turn to garrison Amsterdam, and then we can just t take the city as usual. These men have... There's no other crossing these men can get to us, so Vito Spero, if you can leave Flanders, which you can, they're only minus two. You can lay siege to Cologne. This army's picking up their reinforcements. And these guys are probably going to push up and go hit uh, the steam powered cloth mill here at Luxembourg so that this army can stay in good condition to push up to this bridge. And then maybe this army might be the one that guards the crossing, although you could do with field artillery, I suppose. Still getting troops. Let's check to make sure this these guys still don't have a ship. I mean, if they did have a ship, there's nothing I could do about it. I mean, I could send you. That's not terrible. 
Let's get some more force to boost, bolster that army. These guys are nearly 100% recruited and mean, then they will likely be deployed to fight against the Ottoman Empire when they arise. Now that Egypt is Catholic, Jerusalem is still becoming Catholic. Hey, We've got an agent here. Let's get him to Bologna. Enemy raid in Luxembourg, yeah, we know that. Lots of buildings, let's keep focusing on top tier upgrades. Just keep expanding, keep growing the industry. See, lots of these ports can actually don't have to worry about being upgraded. But I want to take this army, yeah, get you replenishing. Recruit unit of militia to bolster your ranks. Pick up you pick up a sloop or uh, is that a sloop? No, it's a brig. To occupy the port to continue to allow our trade to pass. Then we can sail or march south. Because providing extra five thousand in income, which is quite nice. Lots of our ports can be upgraded. But I'm not going to upgrade them because we do have some fights. Which I will want to keep my men fresh for. So let's take this army here. Drive north to go hit these guys at Luxembourg. Oh, okay. Maybe you guys can go hit the army at Luxembourg. Ah, oh, you know what? I might auto resolve that. Because <laughs> they are. We have already fought them a couple of times. Okay, in which case, Alessio, march up to the bridge. Pronti! Baltasare Matarazzi, you can wait for reinforcements. Again, I'm still okay with letting these guys, with just besieging those men there. Can you guys leave Austria yet? Minus six. No. And there isn't anything we can upgrade. Could probably pick up some militia, or some dragoons actually. For population control. Pronti agli ordini. But I think the next fight to have is to take Vito Spero. Oh, actually, you need some. Yeah, no, I'd like some replenishment. Okay, let's hit end turn before we do anything silly. Because I'd like to end the episodes on a um, prospective battle. Yeah, when the Ottomans do finally declare on us, all of those armies are going to go flowing to ports and deployed to attack us. Yeah, Russian troops are marching up to the front line. As they send more ships into the Black Sea. Yeah, this this is this is gonna get messy. Hopefully though, if we can maintain a peace while I fight and destroy Sweden, then I'll have a bunch of troops to, to drive eastward to knock them out. Oh, they knocked down one of my buildings. As long as they didn't stop me from knocking down my university in Copenhagen, then that means we're still all in all in good spirits. Do I want to intercept? No, because I want to continue my... Hey, you, you sneaky devils. Bavaria is just fortifying. Okay, so these guys that snuck around us with your superior line. Good. Keep 
upgrading. The question is, is this? Hmm. Are you going to attempt to attack Breslau? Because if you did, that would not work, because you've only got a handful of infantry and a bunch of cavalry to try and get in. That, and I'm going to rapidly reinforce ah. Breslau from Hungary. Let's pick up some more men there. See if you guys can leave, and if I swap the Dragoons in, minus one. Good. Push you guys up here for now, I guess, although you need to be ready to swing east, because that's quite a big hole in our line. But what I have plans for is if I take this army, blockade, besiege Berlin, not to win, but it prevents them from reinforcing against Dresden. So I can fight this. I could even push you guys up like that. And you might not be a, might not be in a terrible position to actually fight the siege. Um, but what we are going to want to do first. Ooh, good. Hold on. Let's make sure I put all the places under siege I want to put under siege. And let's also I'm continuing our build up. Well, I can't put anything in rest because I've not repaired it. So I want I do yeah. I do want that built because I need to start sending more ships into the Baltic because I don't know where these guys are going to go. We've got a whole bunch of battles to fight next so let's probably fight march you here and then attack. We, we are going to fight it because I don't want to attract Vito's army but looking at the timer I believe it's time to win the episode so thanks for watching guys hope you enjoyed and we'll see you next time for I think a significantly pivotal turn against the Swedes because we've got Cologne, Amsterdam, Prague and Berlin under siege all in one turn. So let's do this. Radio. Cheers everyone.